Ladies and gentlemen, recently the movie 12 Years a Slave won the Oscar for Best Picture. Why do I mention this? Because I'm a movie buff? No. Have I seen the film? No. I mention this because as I speak to you today, in a couple of weeks, Jews around the world will be celebrating a holiday called Passover. And to some of us, okay, maybe more than some of us, uh, many of us, most of us, all of us come to view this holiday as eight days a slave. Why do I say that? Because we have, firstly, Pesach cleaning. All those chores, walk through every room, try to find every crumb, pick up the beds, search behind the bookcase, clean out your clothes. It becomes a tedious, tedious job. One that we do not look forward to. And then, when we're finally finished cleaning the house, and we finally get to sit down and enjoy the holiday, what do we find? Food restrictions. No bread, no pizza, no pretzels, no crackers, no pasta. Oh no, what am I gonna eat? Matzah, flatbread and potatoes, some chicken, afterwards, maybe way afterwards, a glass of milk, some cream cheese, but none of the favorite foods that I like. So we've come to look at this holiday instead of it being Chag Gu'ulaseinu, the holiday of our redemption and our salvation, the holiday of enslavement. Now, while I can't help you come to your house and help you clean up, and I'm probably not going to be sitting at your Seder, I just want to share a few thoughts with you, not about the physical cleanup, but more about our spiritual cleanup. And since in America we love slogans, because everything goes better with a slogan, the slogan is, brother, Passover is coming, clean up your act. All right? Clean up your act. What do I mean? When we're young, we're born with qualities. Some good, some not so good. So as a child, when we exhibit some of these not so good qualities, we're excused because we're only kids. He's angry, he's selfish, he's lazy. All right, he's just a kid, he'll grow out of it. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, generally speaking, we don't grow out of it. And as we grow older and mature, and those not so good qualities continue to haunt us, we're still selfish, we're still lazy, we're still angry, and we don't have the excuse of, he's just a kid. We look in the mirror and we say to ourselves, why am I still selfish? Why am I still angry? Why am I still lazy? And we push away those issues by saying to ourselves, it's too hard. You know, I've tried. I want to do better. I want to become less selfish. I want to be able to share more. I want to be able to be more of a generous person. Well, procrastination, ladies and gentlemen, is never going to solve the issue. We know putting away for tomorrow what we can do today has never been something that's going to help us in the long run. So Passover comes along to whisper into our ear, my friends, now is the time. As we turn around and clean up our house in the physical sense, let's take a minute to really think about what we can do in the spiritual world as well. All the things that we've pushed off, the laziness that we've exhibited throughout this year, now is the time. Brother, clean up your act. Get off the couch. Get Pick up the phone, invite a few people over for your Seder, call up a friend that you haven't spoken to in a while, go visit somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, do something for somebody else. When you're willing and able to take care of those issues that have been laying around in your closet, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when you sit at the Seder and you know that you have done something for yourself 
and helping you erase and cleaning out all those cobwebs in our spiritual closets, the big smile that you're gonna be able to exhibit when you crack open that bottle of wine to pour the first cup, when you sit down and take the bite of that delicious matzah, knowing that you have done something to enhance your relationship with God and the Jewish people, it is truly going to be the holiday of redemption. And ladies and gentlemen, whereas spring cleaning keep, comes once a year and you're only gonna have to lift up the bed once a year, this endeavor of cleaning up your spiritual closet is something that continues throughout the entire year. I wanna bless you ladies and gentlemen to have a happy and healthy holiday season. And remember ladies and gentlemen, it's time to clean up your act. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you soon.